Hey traders, this is Optimus Futures here bringing you a new tutorial. And in this video, we'll be showing you TradingView's newest chart type, which is Session Volume Profile. TradingView has added this pro volume profile to help you better understand the dynamics of volume. Because Session Volume Profile calculates the volume data within a specified session or subsession, and it allows traders to analyze the intraday volume activity of one specific part of that session. Now there was previously indicators that allowed you to do this on TradingView, but this is a new chart type entirely. So to access this, you want to go into your top left of your chart. Right now I have bars selected. And at the time of this video, it even highlights it for you. You'll find this under the new feature right here, session volume profile. So this is in the volume area of your bar, your bars. It's along with TPO charts and volume footprints you'll find this under session volume profile. And as you can see, once I click it, it automatically starts to separate the sessions for me. And you can even tell um, right now it, is, it actually might look quite small because I'm actually on trading views, other new feature tick charts. I'm on a thousand tick chart right now. So my sessions do look a little bit small compared to the normal time frame. But just to show you, if we line up our crosshairs, you can see the current session I'm in is for August uh, 23rd. And we go over to this break in the line right here where it's highlighted. You can see this is for August 22nd. So each session is broken down here. And we can even break this down further. TradingView allows you to go into specified sessions or even sub sessions, or you can go into time intervals uh, sets. So you can change the parameters and styles of these charts in your chart settings right on the symbol tab. So we can go in, we can right click, we can go to settings and we can go to symbols right here on the top left. And already we have configurable symbols that aren't enabled by default that we can enable. We can turn on values. So by default here, you can see these are just the profiles themselves. But if you actually want to see the numbers and get in depth here, um, you can see in the bottom left, we have some bigger profiles that we can actually see these values. And I'm going to go ahead and change my text to white to make it a little bit easier to read. But we can see it's actually telling us how much volume is in each profile here. Um, it's giving us the numbers, the details, all the values of these profiles themselves. Uh, we can change the width. We can change the placement of our volume profiles and how they're shaped. And then we can go in and we can change the different coloring options. So if you prefer different options for up or down candles rather than the yellow or blue, go ahead and feel free to customize these. All you need to do is left click on the corresponding option and then choose the color of your choice um, in the, the color box right here. If we keep on going down, we have some additional lines here, VAH, VAH, excuse me, which I believe stands for volume area high, VAL, which is volume area low, POC, which is point of control. And then you can also enable the developing options for these as well for the value areas, areas and point and control. You can see you can enable these and these give you right ray extensions that show you the value area high, the value area low um, within the volume profile. So this really allows you to get it specific and you can also extend it. So that way it is visible um, once it's extended. Again, same thing with the coloring options. You can come in here and click and choose whatever color you'd like. And then you can actually change the thickness or excuse me, not the thickness, but the style of line. They have dashed and dotted options. Same thing for value area low and point of control. Extend it right. And you can enable these developing options as well. Now, what's really important and where the real customization comes in just besides the aesthetics is your inputs. This is where you actually control the session times. So there may be situations where you need to have one set of parameters for the real time hours, one for the overnight session. Maybe you want pre-market only, post-market only. It's really up to you. You can have one for each, which is, I assume, what most people will do. That way you have one for pre-market, during market hours, and post-market. But this is really comes down to the user. If you're not sure, you can actually look and click on the info bubble and it tells you how each one is built. Again, you can do this customized. You can choose one of these pre-built options for you. I assume this one will be what most people need. But if you'd like to go in there and customize, 
feel free to choose the specific hours that you'd like. You can choose actually the exchange time too. So it's broken down by the country and the time. The time zone, excuse me. And then from there, once you have this set up to the parameters of your liking, as you can see, it automatically configures it for you in the background. So right now I have it on each, which again, I think is what most people will go for, but you can do pre-market and you can see it just completely cuts out the data of my pre-market sessions. I can have market only, which is likely what it'll show here. And I can go through each different option. So just keep in mind that each exchange may be a little bit different and it's really important to make sure your exchange times line up correctly if you are doing it by custom, but this is very customizable. There's volume as well, which by default, it just shows the up and down volume, but you could do total number of volume and you can do it by Delta instead. And you can see how the colors definitely change depending on what type of volume I actually have filtered into here. You can choose the value area. You can choose it by number of row, but or by ticks per row. And again, this gives us some more information. If we choose ticks by row, the volume profiles look to be a little bit smaller in that size. Um, and you can also change the row size as well. So if you actually want to change the quantity going into your rows, you can adjust that here. And then for data modification, you can do the electronic hours or the regular trading hours. For the CME, you'll need to do electronic, it looks like. And then you can choose the precision of the data modification. So by, there's a default setting. If you prefer to do by integer or by fractions or by decimals, you can up to the exact point. And again, here's the exchange time again. So usually you'll want it at the exchange, but if you prefer to change it to your own time frame instead, if you prefer working on your own time zone instead of the local exchange time, you can choose that here. You can go ahead and choose uh, specific templates for yourself too, if you want to. So if there are different templates, you have one for an exchange, um, a certain exchange and one for the other, or you want to have one for one time frame, you know, for pre-market hours, one for post-market hours, you may want to consider making yourself a template and then you can switch back and forth. Like with all other trading view charts, though, you can really go into settings. You can change the scalings and the lines. You can change the canvas in the background. You can customize your training buttons as well here. We have plenty of videos on this kind of thing, but this focus of this video was more so just to focus on this session volume profile feature, which we have now essentially gone over all the different options here. Every trader will have their own different approach to this. Every trader may want to customize this differently, but we just wanted to go over the technical aspects of this, not how to actually use the indicator, but show you more so how to configure it and where it's available and what it's meant to do. So we hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on our community forum. It's community.optimistfutures.com, or you can drop us an email or give us a call. Feel free to reach us at support at optimistfutures.com or call the number right on our website and we can give you a hand. Thanks for watching and we hope you found this video helpful.